What you doing now, Dave? Changing the shocks. We're gonna get the shock off so I can determine which ones I need. I don't think so. Now what? <sighs> so you think you might have to cut the shock off? Yeah, maybe. We're Dave and Karen from Watts on Wheels, and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full-time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy-duty truck Leroy, our two k motorcycles, our DRV Dixie, and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. First, I gotta take all this off. So, we'll try to do this real quick, like. And get in there and find a bolt. Hold something for you. Well, oh, got it. Uh oh. Uh -huh. Drop that one underneath. So. So how do you know you need to replace them? Uh, last time I was in here working on the rust on this on this uh, coolant line, uh -huh. and I had to remove the top of the shock to get in there. And when I did, I noticed that uh, I could move it up and down pretty easy with my hand. It's a 1560. It is. How about that? Mm -hmm. Did you have to go buy new tools for this? I did. You did? What did you buy? I bought... More toys. More toys. Battery operated impact earthquake driver. Is that what it's called, earthquake driver? Yeah. For real? For real. Oh, that's a big thing. 20 volt lithium. Because my other impact, my corded one, doesn't have enough oompa, oompa. oompa to get it off of there. Uh huh. And supposedly, this is the magic toy. Earthquake XT. 20 volt max lithium. Okay. Fifteen sixteenths. Fifteen sixteenths. Why do you gotta take that off? Just get it out of my way. Where are you going to order these shocks from? Don't know yet. Probably Amazon. You ever done this before? No. Nope. There's always time to learn. You've already had this one up before, haven't you? Yeah. Oh, this one's going to be a cakewalk. Right. Oh, just nothing like jinxing yourself. I know. So now what? <sighs> Penetrating oil, breaker bar, God knows what. Take two. Take two. Pretty easy for you to move. Yeah. 
Way easy. Too bad it doesn't come out that easy. Yeah. So you had to go buy more toys, huh? Torch. <laughs> Pro yep, map gas torch. Uh-huh. Now which what? Is, which is methane and propane. Uh-huh. So it burns hotter. So what I'm going to do is heat the nut. And see, it normally that'll cause the nut to expand and loosen up. So give that a shot. See how that does it. Take three. Take three. <laughs> ah, I like butter. All right. Like butter. There it goes. Uh, I had some thread locker in there. Oh. That's the problem. Let's see if we can get the bolt out. Uh oh. Now what? You don't want to peen that. Oh, man. I don't know. We'll put the nut on it. Mm -hmm. And smack the nut. I don't know why those guys get paid so much. Mm -hmm. sure. Well, they get paid by the hour. They just have to add another hour to this. Oh, yeah. Never a dull moment. And nothing, oh, okay. Nothing's easy. Thread on there. We'll do a smack with a hammer. Oh boy. It ain't moving. It ain't budging. Now what? I could probably try heating these two things mm -hmm. and see how that works. Did it move a little? I don't think so. Hit it harder. Hit it harder. What it is. The bolt. is rusted in this tube. So you think you might have to cut the shock off? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, let's try the other side. Do you need to take all the covers off? I don't know. I think I can get in here. Okay. I'd have to say these shocks are what you call original equipment. Yeah. And you haven't had any beer yet. I will be. <laughs> okay, now what you doing? <laughs> well, we're moving on to plan C. Plan C is to cut this thing off. Uh huh. I got my trusty little cutting wheel. And I'm going to go right along here. Cut it right there. Cut it right there. Okay. And we'll see what happens. We ready? Uh huh. So you get your safety glasses on. Good. Yeah. Oh, what happened? Went in there wrong and snagged. Broke. Oh. Take two with sawing. Take two. One. Did you get through? Yeah. There it is. is this part right here. That thing rusted in place and there was no getting it out. Uh -huh. This side let go now at the last second when I was cutting through it. <laughs> now you got to cut the other one off as well? Yeah. In the front? Yeah. How's the backs? Back I can, they come off. I loosened them up already. Oh good. You gotta get underneath. And you moved your tire. Why did you have to move your tire? Get my steering arm out of the way. Oh yeah. 
that. Or steering rod, whatever That's you want to call it. Kind of in the way. Yeah. Of that. What are you going to do? Cut it from below? I'm going to try. So, you got your new one. My new one. All right. And it goes in. A lot easier than it comes out, I bet. <laughs> Let's see, put a bolt in here. Like Did you that. have to buy the bolts? Not that one. I, oh. got to, I didn't have to cut this one off. Yeah, you'll have to show me how this one moves up and down compared to the other one. Well, this one is a little rough to pull down and real rough to push up. Where the other one was real easy. All right. And here's a new bolt. And actually, these flange bolts, I don't know if you can see it or not, but that little stamp right there, right there, and right there. Uh -huh. What that does is bend the opening of the bolt in just a little bit. So you don't need Loctite or anything. Oh. Because when the bolt runs in, it grabs a hold of that. Grade 8. What's that mean? It means it's a super heavy duty hardened steel alloy type bolt. Okay. That withstands quite a bit of, of beating. So pull the shotgun, get it lined up in here, put this nut on there, and now we'll do the same up here. That should do it. And the other side. Front is done. Now we gotta do the backs. Yeah, that's gonna be the fun part. You gotta get on your back and do that one, don't you? On my back and under the truck. Oh, oh, oh. What you doing? <laughs> All right. So what you can point out what Here's the bottom of the shock, mm -hmm. and the top goes away up here. Right here is a nut that you got to take off of this spindle. Take the top of the shock off. And you have to take this bolt out right here to get the bottom of the shock out. Oh, that ain't going to happen any time we get easy. Ah, oh, crap. Didn't the other one come out already? The other one did, but I wonder if I could torch it. I could just I have one. Right here. Got a bend on it? Yeah. I could try this. I don't know how well it'll hold up. Before I go light the place on fire. Are you at the top? Yeah. I got the nut off. And then there's a washer that it comes out with. Alright, now we start on the bottom. Done. Yay. At least that part. Now I gotta beat the bolt out. Uh huh. Oh, look at it. Coming right out. There it is. What were you o owing about over here? Oh, I was just wondering how hard it was gonna be to collapse it once I get it in there because it's gonna shoot down. Oh. This side up. 
Big side up, huh? Yep. Because any water or anything like that. Rolls down? Yeah. Get in there. <laughs> now you gotta go to the other side. Go to the other side. You uh bleeding yet? I gotta be somewhere. See your head. Hey, head's good. Head's good. No blood, man. I can't believe it. I must be getting better at this. <laughs> I'm sure this one's going to cost a few beers. You know it, sister. And this, we're going by bolt. Uh huh. Seeing how I oh. st had to struggle so much with the bolts. Uh huh. It's a 12 pack. Or just with, let's put it that way. <laughs> And what's the cost, do you think, with, with the tools and without and just the uh, shocks themselves? Well, the tools you have to prorate because I'll use them again on other things. Yeah. But the shocks were what, like almost 300 bucks, three, around 300 bucks. Uh-huh. And probably everything combined, probably around uh, 600 bucks. But half of that is tools you'll yeah. use again and so tools, sockets. Right. Tools that I wanted in. Torch. <laughs> torch and all that stuff. But I figured if I would have had it done at a garage, it would have been about 2500 bucks. Think? Or at least 1500 Wow. At least. Well, you demand. Yeah. Watch out. Watch out.